We just found the easiest way to make customized tumblers and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, and make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're taking another trip back to Tumblr Town, <laughs> testing our hand at making some more tumblers. If you've seen our last few Tumblr videos, you, uh, you know that we're not very good at tumbling. Yes, if you followed us for a while, you will have seen several different attempts at tumblers. We attempted resin, resin, and, we, yeah. uh, and then we attempted um, water slides. Oh yeah, water that, slide paper. That didn't happen at all. Eh. <laughs> we attempted adhesive. We did a print and cut with some adhesive, and then we tried to add resin. But have it upside down on a stick and let it dri let it drip. No, that was terrible. Did not work. We yeah. tried spray paint. That came out okay. Yeah, that well, wasn't that was too okay. bad. Okay. But none of them were to the quality that we felt like we could sell them or or, or offer even them give up. Them as a yeah. gift. Yeah, I did make one as a gift. I think I still have it. I we don't think I ever I, actually gave I, it to her. I didn't want to give it to anybody. I didn't feel safe. <laughs> giving it to anybody. Oh yeah, because we initially started with the wrong resin and that's what caught on fire. Yep. There and was then fire, there was blood. She yes. put her finger open trying to get the rim clean. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of, yes. Uh, fire and blood in that one. But this time we think we have a foolproof method. Full proof. <laughs> I mean and what can go wrong? We're, we're back to sublimation. We love sublimation. It's fun. Easy. And this will be the first time we are trying it on sublimation tumblers. And we got a little couple of tips and tricks we picked up that we're looking to share with you. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a sublimation tumbler because we're doing tumblers. And this pack that we purchased off of Amazon actually came with these sublimation sleeves, and I can't wait to show you how these work. Oh yeah, easy. We needed a sublimation printer. This is our Epson 2760 that we converted into a sublimation printer. We needed some sublimation paper. We got this A-sub from Amazon. We needed some high heat tape to hold it on the tumbler. We needed some alcohol wipes to clean off our greasy hands. We needed a trimmer. So we could trim it down to the right size. We needed some, what are these things called? Oven mitts. We needed some <laughs> oven mitts so that we can actually pull the tumbler out of the oven. And we needed an oven. Yes, this happens to be a new oven for us and it's a big one. And look at these doors. Look at these French doors. How fun is that? Already and, have fire inside. And it will fit a 20 ounce tumbler standing up right on the inside. How That's easy exciting. is that? And we needed a heat gun. I think that is it. That is, that it. is it. Step two, we're gonna print our design. I'm gonna use Photoshop to throw a design together real quick and then Word to print out our design mirrored. I'll meet you in Photoshop. Here we are in Photoshop. Kim wants to make a bunch of these tumblers. So I went ahead and made a template so I'll know exactly how big to make each image. The first zone is your safety zone. That's the light blue. This is all the image will definitely land on the mug. The next size is the print area. That's the dark blue. This is the size of your actual image, including the wrap. It should meet end to end. And then the black box is your bleed. This will bleed over. This will give you that overlap just in case you have any shrinkage. All right, let's drag in our background. We're gonna use a Nightmare Before Christmas theme. So we'll drag this in. We'll change the layers. So we'll make this the bottom layer. Use my select tool and we'll make it big. And we'll make it big. Droop down to the black. All right, now let's go get Sally. We hit select again. We'll get a Sally. Drag her in here, bam. We'll make her a little bit bigger. 
Now to keep the proportions in Photoshop, you don't need to hold shift. You can just drag an anchor. Let's see, let's drag in a jack to make sure they're a similar size. Oops, let me select off. I'm gonna grab a jack, put him in there. Ooh, he's big. Bring him down a bit. Bring him down a way bit. All right, they're about the right size, right? All right, let's hijack. We'll add our little crest thing. Bam. Shrink it down a little bit. Right it on the edge. I'll move Sally and the background over a smidge. So I'm just gonna select the layers that Sally and the background are on. Scooch it this way. Scooch her to the edge. Okay. We'll scooch this in. Make it a little bigger. All right, that looks good. So now we're gonna crop it down to the black line, down to the bleed. Boop, boop. Make sure I got it all. We'll hide the background. All right, looks good. We'll bring the background back. We're gonna hide the template, and then we're gonna save as a JPEG. We're gonna actually export as a JPEG. Export. Call it Jack Tumblr. Save. Let's jump over to Word. For Word, we're going to set up the layout. We're going to go landscape, margins. We're going to go narrow and then take them down even more. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Insert picture from this device not an actual picture Jack Tumblr BAM we're gonna put them um, in front of the text and uh, centered on the page 8.2 9.3 great file oops let's go ahead and uh, select the picture picture format rotate flip horizontal file print got my epson printer ready gone step three we're gonna make all of our cuts we're, we're really just trimming off the uh <laughs> the white part of, of our design and we're gonna use this handy dandy trimmer so we can get right up to the edge yeah, you want to take off anything extra. You only want to leave the ink left. And this Fiskars trimmer has this nice wire that really shows you exactly where the blade's going to go. Yeah, I can get super exact. Oh, we're trimming a little. If I went a little deep, I may have gone a little deep on that one. You better Sorry. be careful on this end or your <laughs> tumbler sleeve is going to be too short. Oh, this, this one's one. yours. I'm doing yours. This Come on, your don't tumbler. mess mine up. You want to make your cut? These, you want to use pretty exact measurements. You want your design to be the exact height of your tumbler and the exact width. So we've cut ours at 8.2 by 9.3. And we'll leave the links to these tumblers and everything down below so you'll know that you've got the right size tumbler with the right measurements. Yo, I'm gonna, you should let me take over. Mm. Because I see you're leaving a little ink in there. Just a smidge. Just a scooch. I left the bleed area with my template. I left a little, little teeny bleed. Perfect. I'm gonna do this one. So now we're all trimmed up. Yeah, let me do this one just for fun. Yep. 
I trim yours, you trim mine. Okay. I scratch your back, you scratch my. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know what happened. You're messing my, my stuff up. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Try to sabotage me. I did you right. Did you? Me and I did. Or are you now? It's almost like I've been scrapbooking for 10 years. Or more than that. Whoa, whoa, cocky. 20 years. We'll get a little cocky here. My blade must be dull. Oh. I'm a little wonky right here. What's that? What's that? What's happening? Let's see what, ah, no. Nope. At the bottom, it'll be good. I don't think that'll work. Here, use these. Just gonna give a little. Super sharp cricket scissors. These things are like little razor blades. He's got like super thick scissors for the most delicate cut. The most delicate. All right, I think I'm good. Step four. We're gonna give him a good old wipe down with these uh, alcohol wipes. Get our oil off of there. So like I said, these come with the sleeve. You see that? In these nice individually packaged boxes so that we can sell them. Oh, we're gonna That's put them back in the boxes? Yes. Back in the box. Back right. in the box, back in the box. Now our hands leave oils that the uh, ink might not fuse to, so we're gonna wipe them down. And then we're not gonna touch them again. Step five, we're gonna give it the old wrapping tape. Use some high heat tape. We're gonna wrap our images face down against the uh, thing and give it a good old taping. So we're using these Nightmare Before Christmas because our plan here is that we will sell door rounds that kind of match these tumblers. So I'm hoping to have the door rounds out at, a, at the farmer's market and then have these tumblers at the register and I'm hoping they'll be kind of an upsell item. They'll match and you'll be like, oh. So I'm gonna set my tumbler on the table so that my sheet also rests on the table and then I'm gonna pull it really tight. I'm gonna pull it really tight around the back. I'm gonna grab that tape and give it a yank. This high heat tape does have a little bit of elasticity to it, so you can pull it and get it nice and tight. Tip, cut your tape first. Garrett obviously knew that. I was not prepared. Yeah. What am I gonna do, put it on one end? Looks like. Yep, I laid it down I just put it on one end. Garrett put his little sweater on. Yeah. He's looking which, chilly. Which way do I want to go? I'm going to up. Then I'm going to put a piece of tape at tippy top. Maybe. And I'm going to hold that tape, pull it over. Nice and tight. Make sure it's still even with the bottom. And throw another piece of tape at the bottom. Ooh. This is mine. Uh -huh. Put it at the very bottom. Hold that tape. Pull it around. Pull it around too. Ooh, I got a wrinkle. not to be perfect. I'm gonna add the shrink wrap here in a second. Alright. Step six. Now we're gonna shrink wrap them. We got this shrink wrap tube. We're gonna try to put the seam of the tube. See there's a seam on the tube. We're gonna try to put that on the seam of the paper. This is the perforation seam where you will tear it after it's baked. Yep. And we have a slight overlap with the paper. That's fine. That will work. Ah. 
That was inappropriate. Save that for the Patriots. All right, see how we have the uh, sleeve hanging over both the top and the bottom? We're gonna shrink the top and the bottom first. Okay. So it won't shrink past the cut. All right, I got the top and the bottom all shrinked up. Now I'm just gonna hit the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a general shrinkage to it. The oven will do the rest. And the purpose of this is to... Just so that it doesn't shift around when you're moving it and putting it into the... Uh, holding that design nice and tight yeah. and still, huh? Yeah, it just holds the design in place. Cool. See? There you go. I still got some wrinkles. It's not perfect. Step seven. Now we're gonna bake them for 400 degrees for six minutes. And we're gonna see if they stand up up in here. Both at the same time. That's hot. Just a freewheel man. Boom. Careful. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hot. I wouldn't touch it. All right. Six minutes, nine seconds. That's where we're at. So. Step eight. Now we're gonna take them out and put them in this bucket of water. Yeah, we wanna cool them off quickly. It stops the sublimation process and makes them easy to hold. Mm. Go, go, gadget arms. Get in there. Yeah. One. Don't leave that there. Put it right in the cold water. It's too hot for this. Two. All right, one, what two. did I say? I'm doing it, I'm on it. Ooh. Yeah, cool it down. You got to cool it down. I'm gonna try to flip them over. Gary Wops on the smallest bike. <laughs> lobster claws are a pain in the ass. Oh no, they stuck to each other. Let me see your water. Is your water warm now? No, your water's cold. Get up on there. And this is how we mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> they stuck together. Look. I hope it doesn't mess it up. All right, let's just go ahead and peel them apart. Are they okay? You can hold them now. Yeah, I can hold one of them now. Step nine. We're gonna unwrap them first. We have to separate the conjoined twins. Ooh! It's like painless. Okay. Yeah. I'll do this one. Woo! That was looking hot! Don't mind back in the water. Impressive. Yeah, it comes right off. Look at that. Damn. Oh my goodness. Can you even see that? Look at that. Woo! You see all the little things in the hill? That's awesome. Let me see yours. Ooh, yeah, yours is popping too. Look at that. Yeah. See how I made them? Jack and Sally. Jack and Sally. On the other side. Jack and Sally. That he looks so hot. Woo! That is amazing. This was the easiest tumbler we have tried to date. Yeah. I'm Look. all for this. I'm all for this. 
Mm, the seam's not too bad. Let me see your seam. Ooh, yours lines up a little better. That's pretty good. See her seam? Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'm impressed. I like this. I'm totally making more of these. We did buy these in an eight pack. And so we'll be able to start with eight of them at the farmer's yeah. market and see how they do. I want to do some Hocus Pocus ones. I want to do, ooh, man, I got a bunch of ideas now. <laughs> oh yeah, these were super easy. I love these. They came out great. Where are your toppers? So Way easier than the I other great thing about these tumblers is people are adding these awesome little toppers. And we did purchase a couple of toppers, but because this thing has to slide open so that you can drink out of it and close it, I'm not exactly sure how to adhere our toppers to it. So we have this little light up Sally topper. My and light up Jack topper. Yeah. Now, I was saying, I just wanna hot glue it to the top. And I'm saying, nope, you can't do that. So, so if you know how to attach something like this to the top so I'd still be able to open it up and maybe take it off to, to wash it, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're gonna need something that you can add a straw all the way through. Yeah. And then you still wouldn't be able to close it because you'd have that straw there. I was focused on the sublimation, less on the top. Yeah. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below. We'll do some cool toppers next time when yeah. we got some bright ideas. Otherwise, we're about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Look at this. I think I can